What's going on, YouTube? This is Ricky J. Welcome to another episode of Season 3 of our Champions Rumble. And this is the Multiple Gimmicks Royal Rumble. And I gotta tell you right off the top, I'm gonna be using Demolition Smash Barry Allen Darso. Man, I'm gonna be using him because uh, Demolition is one of my favorite tag teams. I wanna tell you guys, man, I could easily do a part two or even a part three of this because there were so many wrestlers that had <laughs> more than one gimmick, man. So we can only do 30 here. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. I wanna tell you also that some of these guys had uh, more than two gimmicks. And I allowed three for some guys, but um, for some other guys, I only put in two. Say, for example, like Kevin Nash, I didn't include Oz. He was Oz the Wizard. And I also didn't include Diamond Stud, Scott Hall. But I included their other two, all right? So here we go. Who is coming in at one? If you missed it, this is the multiple gimmicks rumble. And rolling in at one. That's not Bruno Mars. That's Rocky Maivia. <laughs> Look at this guy. Rocky Maivia rolling in at one. And you know it's so crazy, man? Back in 1998, I met Rocky Maivia and Brett the Hitman Hart at Skydome in Toronto. And Rocky Maivia was so nice, man. I felt like I was talking to an old buddy. This guy was just all about the fans. And this version of The Rock was just like that man he um i don't know he was just so positive and so much energy and people just loved him <laughs> look at this rocky maivia rolling in at one and let's see who he locks horns with is it gonna be smash everything's always randomized when we do these videos everything is absolutely randomized we don't know who's coming in when and, um, man, I love listening to you guys. And I know a lot of you guys want me to <laughs> enter into these rumbles. So I'm in here. So here we go. What's this? Is this the Undertaker? It's the Shockmaster. And since when does the Shockmaster roll in with the Harley? And if you guys remember, this guy, the Shockmaster, this is Tugboat, the Typhoon. He has so many gimmicks, but... Um, this guy was hilarious because when he made his WWE debut, he like was supposed to go through a piece of drywall to make his grand entrance. And he went through the drywall, but he face planted right on the uh, the tiles, man. And his helmet came off. It was so embarrassing. And there was a moment of silence. And it was, um, I believe, oh, if my memory's right, it was Sting. But like Surfer Sting, it was British Bulldog, and um, they were arguing back and forth with uh, Sid Justice, or <laughs> Sid Vicious, and there was crazy silence, and it was Sid who broke the silence by just kind of like playing along and um, complaining. He's like, I don't care who this guy is, this mysterious wrestler, I don't care, I'm not intimidated. But the whole part of that whole grand entrance was for the Shockmaster to speak, but when he face planted, he couldn't say a word, man, but it was pretty funny. You got to check it out. Hopefully I'm explaining it right. But this guy, Fred Ottman, man, that was uh, a terrible entrance, one that we will remember. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? When they're terrible, sometimes you remember it, but here we go. Let's see if Rocky Maivia, the young rock, Kid go after the Shockmaster. It almost looked like he was trying to take his helmet off. But, oh, taking the legs right out of, out of him was the Shockmaster. And he's showing his strength. Oh, beautiful Gorilla Press. Dropping Rocky Maivia. Here we go. Here we go. Who's coming in at three? It's Lex Luger. And which Lex Luger is this? Is this the Narcissist or the All-American? Oh, it's the All-American Lex Luger. And back in the day, what was it, 93, 94? Hogan left the company, and they needed a babyface to run things. And they actually, they thought that Lex Luger was going to do it. He had a perfect body. He was really stiff, though. Stiff in the ring and kind of stiff on the mic. And the fans didn't really kind of gravitate towards him. And I think he never ended up winning a title. I could be wrong, but it was so crazy just seeing them trying to get this guy to... Oh, here comes Diesel. 
get this guy to have everybody love him and the fans just didn't really like him too much <laughs> but here we go here's big daddy diesel coming in at four and let's see if luger could finally get some you know success here how crazy would that be if this all-american luger could get his hand raised and punch his ticket to the champions rumble you just never know brother and he's doing some pretty good things oh no don't tell me oh a nice job by diesel and the big man it's going to take a lot to eliminate the big man it really is here we go the fiend at five bray wyatt rolling in <laughs> and i gotta tell you man i didn't include husky harris okay man i wish i think in previous wrestle game wrestling games wwe games you were able to like make your own match and kind of create a 100 man or 50 man rumble i wish you could do that in this let me know if you can because this will be a, a a case of doing that but anyway back to the action maya via just got ddt the fiend and the shock master battling it out you got Diesel. And here comes Bray Wyatt at six. How cool is this? Oh no, Maya V is done. How cool is this? That we have <laughs> multiple gimmicks of the same person inside the ring. And the Fiend dropping the knee on the Shockmaster. Bray Wyatt with a nice little kind of somersault to get out of the way. Oh, power bomb. Oh, he's using the Razor's Edge. Oh no, nice. Oh, that was pretty cool, man. You know what's so funny? When Scott Hall and Kevin Nash left the WWE back in the day, and the WWE had like those fake give. Oh, this is us! This is us! Remember they had the fake razor and the fake diesel? What were they trying to do with that? But here we go! We're not gonna see Axe! We're not gonna see Crush! As the Shockmaster! Shocking things! Whipping us right down! And diesel could be in some trouble. Oh! We grabbed the leg! Of the Shockmaster. Oh, we say no way to him. We got to be careful here. He's just a beast. There we go. A shot down low. Oh, no. Oh, we say no way to the Fiend. Here we go. Here comes Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Huh? Cards crashing down. And it hurts inside. Oh, no. No, don't tell me. No! That's got to be my worst ever performance. How bad is that? That's gotta be my worst ever performance. And you know what's crazy, man? I thought I was like improving at this. And that's an embarrassment. And when we do these videos though, by the way, how cool is that? Hogan versus All-American Luger? When we do these videos, here comes Sting. It's one and done, man. That's why I really feel like that's what makes these videos exciting. Um, it opens the door for embarrassment which I feel is entertaining for the viewer but it also opens that door for unpredictability and that was so unpredictable what happened there to Diesel but we got to go back to the action as Luger has taken out his uh, frustrations on Hogan and could the Hulkster be out of here oh wow what a move by Luger and I'm telling you, Hogan in this, here comes Typhoon at 10. <laughs> a Typhoon and the Shockmaster coming in. Hogan in this, I believe he's like a 97 or 96 overall. And the Typhoon, oh, he's looking a little lean. Okay, there he goes. He turned around. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of my old boss. My old boss, man. So funny. If you see him from his back, he looks like a lean machine. And then when he turns, He's got the big gut like Santa, brother. <laughs> and you're seeing that there with Typhoon. But what a great job by Typhoon. Just kind of, you know, withstanding that storm. And that storm is Lex Luger there. And he did a great job. And there's a lot of bodies on the floor. Man, I got to shake off my terrible performance. We got to move on. Here comes stunning Steve Austin. Stunning Steve Austin. This is going to be Austin with some hair. He's got, what's going on with that air? The toupees in town. What happened to this dying Steve Austin's air? Should be all one color, brother. But that's okay, he's coming in, going after the Shockmaster. Bray, trying to go after Typhoon. You got Sting. Sting's unsure, is he gonna go after the Fiend? He isn't. The Sting doesn't know what's going on here. Oh, there he goes. 
A shot right to the midsection. Are we gonna see Diesel out of there? No. Diesel with some counter elbows. And you got stunning Steve Austin. Are we gonna see the ending of the Shockmaster? Double team with Diesel. And the Shockmaster, shocking move right there. <laughs> that is just nuts, man. But the, the cool thing is though, he kept his helmet on the whole time. He kept it on, it didn't fall out like in his debut. Oh, nice power bomb. Wow, and how, how lean is Typhoon, man? He should be a little bit bigger than that. But oh no, the Fiend is done. Oh no! Wyatt just eliminated himself! His counter gimmick! Man, who would have thought that we would see something like that? Oh no! Stunning Steve Austin, nice move there on Diesel. And Diesel, I'm telling you, he's been in there for quite some time. Oh, Tombstone! By Sting, he's been in there for quite some time. What kind of craziness is that? Oh no! Oh, Bray is done! And this Lex Luger. Him and Diesel are, are, are looking fantastic here. Here comes Mankind at 12. We're still kind of like in the infancy of this rumble here. So early, so much is gonna go down. So much drama is ready to be kind of presented to you. As here we go. Oh, nice job there by Mankind with the headbutt. I like that matchup on the left side of your screen that you're seeing, Diesel and Sting. Sting, he's got to use that speed here. He's definitely, he's got to use that speed, and he is DDT on Diesel. Oh no, Steve Austin. Oh, not going to be out. Here comes H Hogan, Hollywood Hogan at 13. <laughs> Hollywood Hogan. And one of the greatest matches of all time was in Toronto, man. Was it back in 2001 when the heel Hogan went up against The Rock and the Toronto crowd, man, was cheering for Hogan? It was so cool to see, man, how the crowd kind of, kind of, they kind of steered that match just by their love for Hollywood Hogan. It was so cool to see. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. But man, Hogan's having a rough uh, time right here. Now he's going right against Diesel. Here comes Thunderlips. <laughs> now I had to add Thunderlips. <laughs> Hogan was in one of the Rocky movies. Went up against Rocky and Thunderlips with a full head of hair. That blonde is glowing. And I would love to see Thunderlips and Hollywood Hogan. I just love to see, you know, the same guy and uh, the different gimmicks of the same guy battling it out. We saw that in Bray Wyatt and The Fiend. And now, uh oh, I have a bad feeling. Oh no! Stunning! Steve Austin is eliminated. Oh no, we're gonna see Mankind eliminated. Nice job by Mankind. And I'm telling you, Mankind for his size, was very agile for a big boy. And let's see, oh, is Luger? Oh, Luger is still in it. Lex Luger still in it. And Thunderlips and Sting are fighting it out. You got Typhoon and Mankind. Nice move there by Thunderlips. And um, some people were asking me to recreate Rocky Balboa and Thunderlips inside the squared circle. Let me know if you ever want to see that. That'll be kind of a funny video to do. I did it inside uh, Fight Night Champion, the boxing game, but I haven't done it here inside the wrestling game. That'll be fun, but back to the action. I love the step over move that Typhoon is doing. And here comes Tugboat. Speaking of the big man, let's see if Tugboat is gonna be a little bit bigger than Typhoon. Yeah, he's got, he's got a bit more meat on him. Let's see how Tugboat does. He doesn't know what to do here. Oh, and Hogan getting some redemption because um, Lex Luger did eliminate Hulk Hogan, Hulkamania, so Hollywood. Oh, here we go, Thunderlips and NWO Hogan. Oh, nice job by Hollywood Hogan. Oh, nice DDT by Luger. <laughs> this is... <laughs> This is just kind of like uh, bizarre to watch, in my opinion, seeing all these gimmicks. Here we go. Are we going to see Sting? How about this? Hollywood Hogan and Typhoon working together. And now, look at this. We're seeing Luger getting double teamed by Thunderlips and Tugboat. And now, Typhoon just getting spine busted. Mankind could be done. What a job by Diesel. Eliminating Mankind. And now Hollywood Hogan at Thunderlips. Oh no, backbreaker on Thunderlips, stretching them out. 
And now Sting. Is Sting going to finally get the advantage here on Diesel? Diesel's been in there for quite some time. A shot to the bread basket. And then tries to go up high and misses. Oh, beautiful slam there. As all this action's going on at one time. But I'm telling you, man. I'm keyed in on Thunderlips and Hollywood Hogan. And I'm also keeping an eye on Lex Luger. This man, this tough All-American is doing some really good things inside this Rumble. And let's see how he does. Uh-oh. Oh, nice. Wow. Just going right after Thunder Lips. What are we going to see here? Is Diesel going to be done? Typhoon. Oh, he's out. As Scott Hall's rolling in. And no way. Thunder Lips eliminates Lex Luger. And Hollywood Hogan. Nice recovery there by Hogan. But here comes Scott Hall. And um, Scott Hall's been in multiple rumbles. He just doesn't have what it takes man to get his hand raised so far from what we've seen i'm hoping i'm cheering for him i'm gonna pull for him here but i'm hoping that he could finally uh get a win or just have a, a good showing here he's got some chances here we won't see diamond stud though as there we go this typhoon no thunderlips deciding it looked like he was trying to help out Sting with Hollywood Hogan. And <laughs> now, Thunderlips getting some revenge. Oh, nice knee. You see that knee there by Hollywood Hogan? Uh-oh. Oh, nice move there by Thunderlips. And here comes the narcissist, Lex Luger. And the narcissist, <laughs> this gimmick, it was pretty bad. There goes Sting. And remember, he would come into the ring and just uh, stare at himself in the mirror. He just... Uh, <laughs> Thought he was the perfect specimen, the perfect wrestler. And um, that didn't really flow. But wow, what a tough showing. Oh no! Thunderlips gets eliminated by Hollywood Hogan. <laughs> we got to mark down how many times we're going to see the same guy eliminate his, uh, his one of his gimmicks. We saw Bray Wyatt do it. We saw Hogan do it. And now here comes Cactus Jack at 18. As the narcissist, I like that matchup. And Hollywood fighting it out. And then, oh no, there, wow, that was a crazy sequence. There goes Typhoon. There goes Typhoon. And Scott Hall, man. Oh, Scott Hall's gotta be careful. I don't like this matchup with Hollywood Hogan. Oh, he's getting thrown for a ride. Nice job there by the narcissist setting kind of a screen. Oh no, no, don't do it. No, oh, he's still in it. And here comes The Undertaker. And I gotta tell you, man, we're, we're having only two Undertakers in this one. And it's, uh, <laughs> oh no, there goes Cactus Jack. It's gonna be like a Harley Davidson, kind of biker taker and dead man taker. But um, wow, Cactus Jack didn't really last very long. And are we gonna see the narcissist? Hogan's got him up. Scott Hall's, oh, look at that, Scott Hall's. <laughs> that was so cool. He was admiring the work of Hogan. Oh, I've never seen something like that before. Was that planned? Here comes The Undertaker at 20. Wow, it's so cool how we're seeing the uh, these guys, these gimmicks being sandwiched together here. As <laughs> now it's Taker. Oh, and there's... <laughs> this is very trippy. Hogan could be in some trouble here. Scott Hall could be in some trouble. He's hanging on. He's hanging on. He's using all ounces of strength. Tugboat, nice job by Tugboat. Tugboat kind of went to the rescue of Scott Hall. Here we go. Here we go, nice leg drop there by Biker Taker. Here comes The Rock at 21. <laughs> and another leg drop. And Hogan ambushing The Undertaker. Man, and here comes The Rock. Let's see what The Rock's gonna do. Is he gonna go after the Hulkster? You know, the, the Rock wasn't too happy with the reception that that Toronto crowd gave him at WrestleMania. And is he going to be targeting him? No way. Oh, nice job by The Rock. The Rock was always, you know, so good at understanding key moments, understanding when to reverse, when to pour on that offense. And he's doing it right here. Hogan and The Rock going after Team Taker. And here comes the ringmaster. Remember, this was like, uh, wasn't this Ted DiBiase's champion? <laughs> this is Steve Austin, the ringmaster. Where's the million dollar belt? Where is the million dollar belt? As he's going right after Scott Hall. And now you got Biker Taker. Uh-oh. Oh, nice job there. 
And the thing is with the Undertaker, they offer like four different takers in the game. So I only added two, man. But when we do a part two, we could add the rest for sure. But back to the action, Hogan. Using that right hand. Here comes Dude Love. Here comes Dude Love at 23. And Tugboat. Uh-oh. Tugboat may be dying. No. Oh, shipwrecked. <laughs> Tugboat is out. What a move by Dude Love. And he took his chances, man. Really took his chances coming in fresh. Running like that. Trying to get that elimination. But you got to roll the dice. I've said it before. You got to roll that dice. If you want to do great things, man. You got to put yourself in those situations. As here we go. Undertaker and Hogan. Nice job there by Hollywood Hogan. Now he's going after the other Undertaker. How about this? Hulkster. Going after Team Taker. Dropping that elbow. Dropping that elbow. And a headbutt there by The Rock. You got Dude Love. And the ringmaster, Scott Hall and Biker Taker. <laughs> Uh-oh. The Undertaker could be done. Scott Hall's trying. He misses. Here comes Isaac Yankum. <laughs> Isaac Yankum. <laughs> Who needs a teeth or a tooth to be pulled? And this is Kane, man. This is <laughs> Kane. <laughs> Isaac Yankum. Uh-oh. Isaac Yankum could be in some trouble here. Wow, he came in and he got stunned. But he's okay now. Let's see who he goes after. As Hogan and Dude Love are fighting it out. We got Undertaker and The Rock. Look at that classic showdown. Nice job by The Rock ducking under. Oh, Isaac Yankum could be in some trouble. Oh, beautiful move there by The Undertaker. And now you got Scott Hall and the Ringmaster. Are we going to see a Razor's Edge? <laughs> are we going to see it? Oh, no. Oh, he kind of gave him the stutter. He kind of gave him that stutter there. Oh, dude, love. Oh, man. Dude, love is done. Dude, love is out of there. And the ringmaster is in some trouble. And Hogan, Hollywood Hogan, is um, putting together a nice little performance as Mick Foley, man. It's like in the arcade. Three, <laughs> three quarters and you're done. He's got no more continues. He ain't really put together a great showing, in my opinion. As Scott Hall getting thrown right to the to the corner. Scott Hall gonna be in trouble. The ringmaster using his legs, using his upper body strength, trying to flip him over. Oh no, he's got him flipped over. He's done. He is done. Oh man. Oh, that is just too bad. As Isaac Yankum, <laughs> Glenn Jacobs <laughs> going right after the ringmaster and he missed. And Hogan. Oh, here comes Razor Ramon. <laughs> no D. Razor Ramon. I'm getting excited, man. I'm mispronouncing the names. But here comes Razor. And let's see if the bad guy can come in here. And he's unsure who to go. Oh, he's going right after the ringmaster, which is a smart move, in my opinion. Oh, Hogan. It looked like Hollywood Hogan was, like, trying to drop the leg. Here comes Isaac Yanko. Big shot. And the ringmaster has been eliminated. As The Rock and The Undertaker going after each other. Nice. Wow. Beautiful power slam by Hogan. And now he's going for the trifecta. Three elbows. And are we going to see The Rock done? Here comes Kane at 26. Rock is hanging on. Is he done? He hangs on. And let's see what Kane does. Rock's trying, man. He's got to go after that. There he goes. Goes after the shins. And here we go. <laughs> Isaac Yankum and Kane. Oh, nice job by Yankum. And is Hogan going to get it? Oh, no. One of the Undertakers has been eliminated. And Hollywood Hogan still standing. I wonder what the uh, what the stats are on him. I want to send out a huge shout out to Voice of Silence. I'm telling you, this subscriber of mine is fantastic, man. He is MVP in my opinion. He always offers up the stats after every rumble. And I just want to send a huge shout out to him. Uh oh here goes The Rock is out of there. And here comes Stone Cold. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Here we go. This is his last try. And Kane, he may get eliminated by Isaac Yankum. And The Undertaker. The Undertaker is just looking at him. Oh, he's looking to ambush. No, he wants to go after Kane. And Kane was looking to rest. No resting here. Oh, he's going to get Tombstone. Oh, no. <laughs> He just got dropped on his head. 
Stone Cold Steve Austin interrupted that tombstone, but that was the worst thing that could happen for Kane. And here comes Kevin Nash, NWO. And are we gonna see? No! No! Stone Cold is out! Oh man, you know The Undertaker was, oh no, there goes Razor! The Undertaker wasn't happy what Stone Cold did and he eliminated him right away. And now The Undertaker's on fire. Oh, nice job by Hogan. Again, Hulkster staying in there. Sad times for Razor Ramon. He is done. Isaac Yankum going with those crazy, <laughs> crazy strikes. Man. Here we go. Oh, the Repo Man. The Repo Man at 29. And I'll be secretly going for the Repo Man. Holy cow. Let's see how he does. Going right after Isaac Yankum. And Yankum. Oh, what a move by Nash. Eliminating The Undertaker. Wow, and I'm telling you, arrested up Kevin Nash. He is uh, one of the best, man. When it comes to these rumbles, he can clean house with the best of them. And he, and he eliminated one of the best in this. Oh no, there goes Yankum. How good is the Repo Man? And here comes Sting. And this is um, blonde haired Sting. Spiky hair, surfer Sting. <laughs> here he goes. And this is it. What a final here that we have here. Oh, Repo Man. And the Repo Man, he's been in a previous Rumble before. Um, I think when we redid one of the, uh, what was it, the 92 Rumble? Uh, I can't really remember. But um, wow, he did so well. And now. He's putting together a pretty good performance so far. There's a lot left here, but there's the big boys in here. You got Kane and, and Nash. I don't know if the Repo Man can handle this. And you got Young Man Sting, who's unsure what to do. Old Man Hogan, who's been in there for an eternity. And now, look at this. Kane and Nash going after Hogan. And the Repo Man could be in some trouble here. Nice job by Sting. Great job there by Sting, and Sting, yeah, he's not over committing it when it comes to, you know, locking horns with guys, but now, as I say that, he's going after Repo Man, but he seems pretty good, man. He seems pretty fresh. Wow, look at that power slam right into the center of the ring by Kane on Nash, but in the driver's seat, I don't know, man. You could say that, uh, <laughs> look at, you could say Hogan has been in there for a while on his, what, third wind? And he's looking pretty fresh, in my opinion. Oh! He psyched him out. He thought he was going for that third elbow, but decides to give him a, a rake to the face with the foot. And now you're seeing Hogan getting all <laughs> fired up. He's hulking up. <laughs> how about that? How about that? And all these guys, it's pretty interesting how they're all kind of sandwiched together here. But now, you got Kane and Hollywood Hogan, Kevin Nash, man, having the advantage. What's Repo Man gonna do? Is he gonna try to interrupt this? No. Wow, what a power bomb that was on Sting. And could Sting be out of here? He is stunned. Oh, nice there. Great job there by Kane. If you're a Sting fan, that's a great job that Kane did just to give Sting an opportunity to recover. And Hollywood Hogan just... <laughs> Handling Repo Man. We haven't seen Repo Man land an offensive move in quite some time. And is he going to be out of here? Does he have another trick up his sleeve? Oh, he's kind of falling asleep. Let's see if Nash... No, Nash doesn't see it. Wow, this is good news for all you Repo Man fans out there. Uh oh, oh, it almost looked like Hollywood kind of saw him. Kind of taking a nap, standing up. But no, these guys are preoccupied with their own battles here. A Sting and Hogan. And you got Kane and Nash. Oh, and Kane getting that advantage. Oh man, vicious boot. And now Repo Man getting back into the mix, but he still keeps on taking bombs. And he took another one from Hogan. And another one, sizing it up. You see Hogan there, he kind of shook that right hand. A lot of right hands here. And Repo Man, I don't think he's got anything left. Oh man. Power slam on the Repo Man. <laughs> that definitely rhymes. And how about this, man? You're seeing Sting and Repo Man taking a licking. And now we're finally seeing Repo Man with a nice recovery here. But again, 
finding himself out of, out of the loop here, but that's a good thing. And are we gonna see Nash? No way! Kane eliminates Nash! And how about that uppercut by Repo Man? Wow! <laughs> oh, back body drop? Oh my gosh, Repo Man. What does this guy have left? And speaking of have left, I don't think Sting has anything left. I don't think Sting has much left here. As Hogan, man, really using that right hand. Uh oh, but that's bad move by Hogan. Deciding to crisscross and go after Kane. And now Hulkster in some trouble. Oh, he's gonna get eliminated, is he? Choke slamming him? No, Kane decides to keep him in the ring for now. And Hogan in some trouble. He's stunned to the corner he goes. Oh no, Hogan hanging on for dear life. Kane's got him, Kane's got him. Oh, he's flipped him over. Hollywood Hogan's out. We're down to the final three. How about this for the final three? Repo Man, Sting, and Kane. And if Repo Man plays his cards right, he's gotta just help out Sting, eliminate Kane. But no, he's not thinking right. And Sting kind of looks like he has a bit of the advantage here. Kind of looks like he's got the, a bit of the advantage. Always, oh, wow, look at this. You gotta have some pretty strong shoulders to do this. Wow, he kind of did a, a, what did he do? Three reps on that set? And now, is he gonna eliminate Repo Man? Oh, he's gotta act quick in my opinion. Cause you see Kane, you see Kane is kind of slowly coming to his senses which is gonna be bad news. Oh, and Repo Man interrupting that elimination attempt, it looked like, and now with a great driving clothesline. But there goes Big Man Kane standing up. Oh, a nice recovery there by Sting, and how about this? Smart move on Kane, deciding to walk away from, that in from the encounter that he's seeing between Sting and Repo Man. Oh, and now he's interrupting it. Oh no, Repo Man could be done. He's trying to hang on. Oh no, Sting's got him flipped over. He's done. And now we got our final. We got our final. Sting and Kane. Here we go. In the multiple gimmicks rumble. Let's see what happens. Sting's gotta, yeah, Sting's gotta get that early advantage. He's gotta slow him down, use his quickness. Now he's got a lot of real estate to work with here. But Kane, oh man. Kane with a great move. Kane's got that agility and speed that is kind of underrated in my opinion. But Sting's got to keep on moving. He can't stay stagnant. Oh no, and Kane's looking to make quick, quick work of him. Is he going to do it? Does Sting have anything left? He's holding on to that middle rope. Oh no! He just got eliminated. And Kane has punched his ticket to the Season 3 Champions Rumble. Wow, <laughs> a lot of action, a lot of drama that was seen inside this ring. But this man Kane is going to the Champions Rumble. And remember in season two, we saw the massless Kane, shaved head Kane go to the Champions Rumble. And now we're seeing Kane again going off to the championship. Wow, how good was he, man, in this video. But anyways, guys, I'll end this off. Thank you so much for the support. <sighs> I got to shake off my horrible performance and come back better than ever in the next one. Hopefully, I'll do a little bit better. But keep it locked here. I got some more fun surprises for you. This is Ricky J. Love you all. Take care.